I'd like to talk to us for a few minutes, inviting your attention to uh, the book of Matthew. Matthew, the fifth chapter. Fifth chapter of the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. We'll just start reading at verse 1. Matthew chapter 5, we'll start reading at verse 1. And what of God says, And seeing the multitudes, he went up unto a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and, sh and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, for my sake. Mm -hmm. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Uh, verse 6 is what I want to focus in on today. Uh, we are draw, uh, use this as our subject. Where the word of the Lord says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. What is your motivation? What drives you? People, if you ask the average person that question, you will get many answers. But I, I, I shudder to think that uh, the majority of those answers would not have a, a, a spiritual context in mind. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Uh, uh, people are... Uh, are in the pursuit of many other th many things, uh, you know, and we often look at the the, the scripture uh, in First John chapter two, verse fifteen. We, we don't we won't go there on today. I just kind of quote it, I'll paraphrase it a little bit. But the Bible tells us to love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, for all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh. It's the lust of the eye and the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. And you know, old folks used to say, that your eyes are never full. Mm -hmm. There's always something yeah. that you want. Mm -hmm. and, and so yeah. when you're hungry, hunger and thirst after worldly things, you will never be satisfied. You will never be full. That's why people, uh, uh, you, you, you see people getting married four and five times. Never fool. Because they're always looking for something better. Looking for something greater. But I declare if you pursue Jesus. See, see he will fill you up. In a way that you've never been filled before. And you can be satisfied in circumstances uh, that doesn't seem to be uh, where you can be satisfied in. 
Blessed are they, they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. See, you, you can be satisfied. Now, I, now, I'm not suggesting that you shouldn't have, you know, goals and aspirations and things. Uh, no, I, I'm not suggesting that at all. But if you pursue God, he'll add those things to you. Let me show it to you. Go to Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Amen, amen. And at verse 33. Matthew chapter 6. And at verse 33, the word of God says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Watch it. Now, now remember, we just read, but, you know, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the word of the Lord says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. See, if you get in, get in line with God first, mm -hmm. then God knows exactly what you need. Amen. God can bless you much better than you can bless you. Yes. Because you, you, you do things according to his order, then he will bless you. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Just still, still in Matthew chapter 6, uh, back up to verse 31. Watch this now. Matthew chapter 6 and then verse 31. Now, the word of God says, therefore, take no thought. Think that take no thought saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal we shall we be clothed? Watch this. For all these things do the Gentiles see. Or all the, 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 the world. That's what the world is enthralled with. That's what the world is 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 is, is taken by. Yes. Constantly you. worrying about, you know, what what how trying to line up or shape their future, not knowing that God holds your future. Thank you. You're planning for things that may or may not happen 20, 25, 30 years from now. You don't know what if you're going to be here 20 years from now. Everybody's not going to live to be old. I, I, in the last six or seven years here, I have lost many a classmate. I'm only 43. So now the Bible says, for all these things do Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. God knows what you need. Amen. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Okay, okay, now he says here, for, for, after, for after all these things do the Gentiles see. And, and I, 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 it's, it's, I, it's been a theme so far this year. I've, I've hit on it, I, I guess, in some form or another, about divorce in this world. Also for throughout this year, we're in March now, and I've been kind of, the Spirit has been leading me to hit deal with this, love not the world, neither the things of the world. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. For all these things do the Gentiles see. For your Heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. See, God not going to leave you hanging. And unfortunately, that's what I think. Sometimes that's what we think. That oh, I'm doing all this for the God, and somehow God just going to gonna, gonna leave me out here. He's going to leave me out here. You know, in one place, the the uh, uh, the apostles or, or the disciples said the same thing. He said, Lord, we gave up all to follow you. And God said, you going I'm going to take care of you in this life and the life to come. Okay, all right. Go over to uh, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 55. Amen, amen. Isaiah chapter 55. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 55. That's for they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 1, the word of God says, Ho, everyone that thirst, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. 
Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. See, see, God got something that you can't buy. I remember the old saints used to sing this song, said, This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. See, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. Uh, uh, you look in, 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 in the world, and people are uh, um, they're constantly they're, they're looking for peace. They're looking for joy. And that's why they turn to drugs and, and, and alcohol. And that's why they turn to, to women and, and turn to men. You know, look out in the world, and now, and even uh, uh, I won't say in the church, but in the religious world, uh, do you know that divorce among so-called Christians have surpassed that of those in the world? I think the divorce among so-called Christians is about uh, uh, roughly sixty percent, whereas in the just in the world, it's it's a little over fifty percent. See, you're looking for something that you will never be able to find. You know, this is why, you know, and I think about the, all of these different movie stars and, and uh, uh, you know, entertainers. Mm -hmm. How Michael Jackson, you know, from the outside looking in, seemingly he had it all. Mm -hmm. Even this, this past year, uh, 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 Prince, very talented, mm -hmm. you know, popular. He had millions, but yet... He needed drugs. Whitney Houston had it all. Very talented. A very beautiful woman. And, and, and had millions. But yet, needed drugs. Needed drugs. Now, he said, blessed are they that hunger and thirst have the righteousness. I guarantee you, if she was pursuing God, she wouldn't want no drugs. If Michael Jackson had to pursue the Lord Jesus Christ, he wouldn't want no drugs. Once you get a good dose of the Holy Ghost, I'm going to tell you, ain't nothing like the Holy Ghost. There's no high like the Holy Ghost. And, it, and, and one thing about it, it don't leave you hungover. It don't leave you hungover. Ho, everyone that thirsts, come ye to the waters. And he that have no money. See, you don't have to have money. Mm -hmm. You don't need no money for this. Mm -hmm. Come ye and buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? You're always, you, you, you're constantly getting new stuff. And you're not satisfied. You have that for a couple of months and you already see something else you want. Closet full of clothes and you're already, you already, you, they, they sitting a coupon there. Oh, where well, Mason got a sale going. You know good and well you don't need nothing. Then I, I clothes don't fade me. I don't buy no clothes until it, I, I absolutely, it, I, I, when I buy something, I need it. That's just the way I. That's just where I am. See, I, I I don't worry about the latest fashion, the latest this or the latest that. No, I wear a suit, and when, when time when I get rid of it, I cause I can't fit it no more. Or it got holes in. I buy wear a suit. I I mix it up. I put a different shirt and a different tie with, it, but it's the same suit. Sometimes my wife get on me and like, well, what, what you got that? I don't, I don't know how long I had this thing. I done had it probably 10, 12 years. Uh -huh. Well, you need, ain't nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Like, she might bother me by my ties. Ain't nothing wrong with my ties. All right, go back to uh, Matthew chapter 7 now. Blessed are they that do hunger. And thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Matthew chapter 7. We'll pick it up at verse 7. Matthew chapter 7. 
And at verse 7. Where the Lord says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. But now, we read over in Matthew chapter 6, it said, First seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness. See, if you're seeking righteousness, if you're seeking holiness, then you're going to find things. I remember when the Lord appeared unto Solomon. He, he, he told Solomon, you, you could ask me for whatever it is that you want. It, it, whatever you want. And Solomon asked the Lord for wisdom. Because, see, if you get wisdom, you can get some money. See, but and a whole lot of folks, if, if, if the Lord would appear to them and ask them that, they'll say, Lord, give me $10 million. No, give me some, and they, most folks will ask for money. Not knowing, you don't, you don't have a money problem. You got a wisdom problem. Because you, you, you make enough money as it is. Yes, you do. All you need to do is simplify your life. Don't you know money with no wisdom? You, you know better off. All you are is a rich fool. And the Bible says a fool and his money shall soon part. All you got to do is look at these athletes. How in the world you play in the NFL for, for 10 years and then you retire broke. Made millions of dollars. The, I think it's, uh, I remember reading an article. I think about, it said over 70% of professional athletes are broke within two years of their retirement. No, you don't have any wisdom. So he says, you ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. But what are you seeking? What, what are you asking for? Because if you, if you, if you want an old piece of car, when you get it, well, next year they have another one coming out. A house? Okay, well, then, then you, you, you get a house. Then Suzanne got one. Well, they, they got this in there. Always, the, uh, you, you're never satisfied. But I think about the, the, you know, the old saints, how uh, I remember, you know, Mother Jackson, she, she dead gone now. She was about 90 years old when she passed. But I remember she, uh, as a little boy, we used to, you know, go to her house. Her house was the same. Never changed. And, and went by there, uh, uh, you know, a little before she passed, was still the same. You know, I was six, seven years old, and same couch, same chairs, it never changed. You know what? She was satisfied. She was full. Blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. They shall be filled. <laughs> Asking it shall be given you. But what are you asking for? You know, you know, just like a little little child, they'll say, "Well, if if you give me this, you don't have to give me nothing else." Till they go to their friend's house and they see something over there. Well, 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 I I want this now. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Verse 8, for everyone that asketh it, receive it. And he that seek it, find it. To him that knock it, it shall be open. He, not, not, that, he said, to everyone that asketh it, receive it. But what are you asking for? Are you asking for things of the world? Because the world is constantly changing. That's why you don't feel, that's why you feel so unfulfilled. Mm -hmm. But Paul said, whatever state I'm in, therewith be content. As far as this world is concerned, mm -hmm. for everyone that asks it, receive it, and he that seek it, find it. And to him that knock it, it shall be opened. 
All right, go to Psalms now. Psalms. Psalms, the 42nd division of Psalms. Psalms 42. Amen, amen. Psalms 42. Paul said over in, I believe it's 1 Corinthians chapter 14, he said, told us to desire spiritual gifts that you may prophesy. Being able to prophesy and being able to, you know, the, having the, the spiritual gifts, that's far better than money. Don't you know if, if, the, if the Holy Ghost can reveal to you things that will, that's going to happen, you can avoid a whole lot of trouble. Being, have, being able to have spiritual discernment, you can avoid a whole lot of trouble. Hmm? Having the gifts of healing, being able to lay hands on the sick and they recover, that, that's better. It, you, you can't put a price on that. Amen. Go down, I, just imagine, you be able to go down there to MD Anderson and go from room to room and rebuke cancer. You can't, you couldn't put a price on that. Paul said, desire spiritual gifts. Yeah. One place in the Bible, Peter was walking, his shadow was healing folk. Amen. You can't put a price on that. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. They shall be filled. Psalms 42, Psalms 42, and that verse 1, all right. And the Bible says, as the heart panted after the water brooks. As, in other words, a deer. The heart there is a deer. As a, as a heart panted after the water brooks, so panted my soul after thee, O God. Man, I'm going to tell you when, you, when you, when you desire something spiritual from the Lord, my God, man, I go back to when I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Man, I, I wanted it. I was, it was as if I, I was obsessed Went on a three-day fast. I'm not talking about these old way folk fast now where they drink water and fruit juice. See, I, I, they, they taught us to fast. We fast old-fashioned way. You don't eat nothing and you don't drink nothing. Amen. You drink water and fruit juice. Ain't no telling how long. I mean, I, I probably go a month. But uh, at that time, we'll, I was working and... Uh, we occupied two floors of that uh, building. We was on the sixth floor and the seventh floor. It wasn't very many people on the seventh floor. <laughs> and I would, during the, uh, lunch, only thing I took to work, I would take my Bible to work. And I would read, I would go read. And I would go up on, up on the seventh floor into a conference room, crying out to the Lord. Because I, I wanted God. And it didn't matter if, if, if he had came while I was at work. That was, I, I didn't care. I didn't care. Because I know I need his spirit. Because the Bible says, without his spirit, you're not of his. I knew that. I didn't care. Man, I wanted God. Fast. I started fasting every Wednesday by noon. All day Wednesday, all night Wednesday night. All day Thursday. All night Thursday. And had to eat or drink nothing. All day Friday. All night Friday. I remember coming home from work that Friday night. I got down on my knees and I prayed. I said, Lord, I need the Holy Ghost. I want the Holy Ghost. Thank you. I said, you know I need it. I can't, I can't, I can't feel myself because if I if I could, I would have a long time ago. Yeah. And I said, now you can't send me to hell. I've done everything I, I know to do. I I've repented. I've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And I've asked you to feel me. And I got up and I got in the bed. Thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, and somewhere yeah. else, I don't know exactly what time it was, four days that Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. Around four, four, five o'clock, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just started worshiping mm -hmm. right there in the oh, bed. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Worshiping right Thank there you. in the bed. I was hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And 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 some at some point where it looked like I went to say hallelujah and the tongues just came. Oh yes. Why those tongues came? My God, man, before I know it, I think I wasn't in the bed anymore. I was on the floor. Hallelujah. Thank you. My God. And I I I I got up, I swore, I got I got it now. I got it now. I grabbed the phone and I, I called my mom. Thank you. And and I, I she answered the phone. You know, it was early in the morning, so she, she met the thought the eye because she thought something was going on. I said, I got it. Hallelujah. She said, she said, what is I got it? <laughs> then the tongue came again. Hallelujah. The tongue Thank came you. again. Thank I got it. Hallelujah. Bless. Thank you, Jesus. And they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Yes, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God, man, before I knew anything, you know, I she had to give the phone to my daddy and then they were there rejoicing too. Thank you, Jesus. See, when you want God, oh, yes. that, that now now you know, sure I face things. I face obstacles. But I got power now. That'll settle me even in the midst of a storm. See, before then, I, I would just get frustrated. Mm -hmm. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know how things were going to turn out. And sometimes I face that even now. But yeah. there's always a calm that'll come. Yeah. They say, just calm down. It's going to be all right. Thank See, you. Romans 8 and 28 is more real to me now than it, it, it's ever been before. All things work together for good. good. To them that love the Lord. See, I'm not I'm not trying to make too much headway here in this old world because I know I'm gonna check out of here one day. So it doesn't matter whatever I build up here. It really it, none of it matters. And again, I'm not preaching against stuff. No, no, I'm not I'm not preaching against nothing. Nothing wrong with having a nice house, driving a nice car, you know, wearing nice clothes. There's nothing wrong with any of that. But I tell, I, I'm gonna tell you, you need God. Yeah. You need God more than any of that. Yes, amen. 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 All right. All right. Go over to uh, 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 Psalm 63. Psalm 63. Bless the day which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Psalm 63. Amen, amen. Psalm 63. We we'll start reading at verse 1. <clears throat> Psalm 63 and at verse 1. And the word of God says, O God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. Early will I seek thee. See, some people go to bed worrying and wake up worrying. But now, the Bible says, early, he says here, oh God, oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Okay? Early will I seek thee, my soul thirsts after thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. And we are in a dry and thirsty land where and there's no water. I mean, spiritual war. Yes. Amen. Because Jesus, I remember when Jesus told the woman at the well, yes. say, if you drink of this water, yes. you will never thirst yes. again. See, oh. if, 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 if I, if, if, he said, hey, he asked her for something, give me some drink. Mm -hmm. Say, if I, you drink this, you you going to want something else. You going to want some more. But I guarantee you, he said, I got some water. I got some living water. 
If you drink of this, you will never thirst again. Thank you, you will never thirst again. Thank you. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsts for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. And we, my, my God, man, the world is getting more and more wicked. It's like, are, is, are, is there anybody saved? I, I see some folk that ain't that's not. I, I see some folk that, that that's not trying. No, some fellas are not trying to run women. Thank you. Sisters, I see some other sisters that not gossiping and backbiting. Mm -hmm. A land where no water is. Yeah. To seek thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life. I'm going to tell you, favor with God is better. I'm, I keep telling you, favor with God is better than money. God will make somebody move on somebody and make them give you some of their money. Because thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my head Hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. We talked a couple of months ago. The whatever, no matter what, don't lose your praise. <laughs> when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, God, folks, I'm like, ah, I can't sleep. I, I, don't have, I don't have a problem. Yeah. Right, man, you, 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 if you do wake up, I tell you what, just start, go back, just yeah. go back over your life and think about what God has done for you. Thank you, Jesus. Get, your, Thank get this Bible out and start reading, and, and sleep will come, and it'll be a sweet sleep. Thank you, Lord. He said, when I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on, on thee in the night watches. Thou has been my help. Wherefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. Amen, amen. Okay, go to Isaiah now. Isaiah chapter 26. We got to get ready to let you go. Isaiah chapter 26. Amen, amen. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Isaiah chapter 26. Isaiah chapter 26. Amen, amen. Isaiah chapter 26 and... Uh, We'll pick it up at verse uh, 8. Isaiah chapter 26 and at verse 8. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. All right. Isaiah chapter 26 and at verse 8. And the word of God says, Yea, in the way of thy judgment, O Lord, have we waited for thee. And desire, have, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. Mm -hmm. All right, verse 9. With my soul I have desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me I will seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth and the inhabitants of the world will learn of righteousness. Will learn righteousness. Okay, now for the sake of time, drop down to verse uh, 13. <clears throat> amen, amen. Uh, verse 13 now. And the word of God says, O Lord, our God, other lords besides thee have had dominion over us. But by thee only will we make mention of thy name. 
See, see, now, now, yeah, okay, we're in this world and we're faced with other powers and we, you know, we're faced with other situations and other circumstances. But, but what? But now he says, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name, because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Okay, now I got go to uh, Ecclesiastes. And uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, and then we're going to get ready to go. Amen, amen. Lest are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, and we'll pick it up at verse 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and at verse 13. Amen, amen. The word of God says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This is your responsibility. Fear God mm -hmm. and keep his commandments. Not, not, not try to keep up with the Joneses. Just fear God and keep his commandments. For God shall bring every work unto judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. It all boils down to this. And and if 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 you seek after, if you hunger and thirst after righteousness, you're gonna fear God. And you're gonna keep his commandments. Because this this is the whole duty of man. Fear God and keep his commandments. Amen, amen. We'll leave it right there. We thank God for you. We thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus. I hope I said something to help somebody. Amen. amen.